Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Michigan Wolverines and the Indiana Hoosiers. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I'll tell you what, if you're the underdog, you've got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Hoosiers should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Second of all, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Thirdly, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. They move it into the front court. In the paint. And he'll kick it back outside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Hobbs handles the feed. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Altair just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. There's the pick. There's the roll. Martin receives the pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And he scores despite the hack. the steal the pressure got to the ball handler awesome some ball pressure it was too much for him and he lost possession on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He looks for the bomb. There was no doubt about that one. Gant is emotionally fired up. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Gave it up. Fakes a jumper. Goes up for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Trying to go inside. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. And he'll kick it back outside. Dumps it in. Set up looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. High post flashes for the ball handler. The skip pass is picked off. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Leans in. He gets the bucket. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. 
Trying to feed inside. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. They look to get it to the inside. The shooting guard receives the ball. Here's a flash from the post up high. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's a double team waiting there. Moving it around the perimeter. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Dickie's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing him in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Looking for a good shot. For two. Doesn't go. Got to make that baby have a wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass for an easy deuce. He takes it away. Jumps in. Gets it to fall. He shoots from long range. Great shot. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Thinks about the shot. Jump hook from the low block. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The Wolverines have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Wow, what hops, baby. What hops. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Martin handles the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He launches the bomb, goes in. Stolen away. Here they come now on a turnover. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. He wants a three. Way off target. Spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Pressure on that ball, head on the ball. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Kinsey fakes the shot. 
That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Tries for two and off the mark. On the dribble, gives it up, and he'll kick it back outside. He uses the shot fake. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent for guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Looking for the foul. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Gave it up. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He's money with the shot. the inside he gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot I a good close play because the footwork was excellent so many guys walk lift their pivot foot he does a great job showing ball ball fake and good footwork keeping his pivot foot down here's the toss back out from the post I tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Goes up for two. I'll tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you've got a great post play, you got a chance to be able to win. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Had a guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball. He threw it down and still one to come. He saw that opening and took it right to the rack, baby. I don't even know if he felt the foul. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. You've got that right, Brad. The Wolverines will step to the line for the first time. Sinks it. Now they work it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, it's early out there, but both coaches are demanding both teams turn up their emotions and get physical out there on the hardwood. All right, thanks, Aaron. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Good fake. For the bucket. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. 
Working it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, you're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Pump fakes. For two, the Hoosiers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting him the ball. It's simple. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the circle, jumps into the defender. Tickles a twine. Steals a pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. It's a ball. They work it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. The lane. Watch again. <laughs> Tries for two. Perfectly executed. On the outside. The high screen. Basket falls despite the contact. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. it up he shoots from the top of the key Michigan are showing signs of a good run here Dick they look like they put it together for a moment hey let's see how long they can keep it up picks off the lazy pass goes up for two makes the shot looking for a good shot for the bucket can't get the shot to go. It goes in the foul. You talk about Will. This senior has it, baby. He was putting that in no matter what. The Hoosiers are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Got it from the free throw line. Oh, my. He ran into a major league screen that time. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. On the outside. Tries a three. Knocks it down. Gave it up for two. They still don't score. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. 
He puts it in with contact and all. They work it around the perimeter. Had to go up high with a shot, and it's in and out. Working it around the perimeter. From left of the circle, the Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Daddy's on fire. Pushing that basketball. Tries to get the D to bite. Definitely a foul. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. He goes to the line. He gets it to go. Michigan is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. And he got them both. On the inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Got a nice screen. Left to the circle, off the rim, and no good. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Great elevator, man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. It's stolen. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Up fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dump it inside. He shoots from left of the circle. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Flasher is open. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Time, the Wolverines are ahead by eight. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Indiana is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dick. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. 
I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. The way I look at it, Brad, I think the fans just want to be entertained. <laughs> well, you're talking about it. To be completely honest, Dick, so do I. I'm the one always to root for the underdog. Why not? What are the odds? The shooting guard gets the ball. Goes up for two. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Looking for a good shot. In the paint. And he'll kick it back outside. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. It's the replay, please. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. With that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, stolen. No. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. You got to eliminate those turnovers. They work the perimeter. He looks for three. He gets it to go. On the inside. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. He goes with a baby hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Now they work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Kicks it out. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picked out of the air. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Roll that replay ready, boys. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. He goes with a jump hook. Can't get the shot to go. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. He can't get the hoop to fall. He attempts a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Michigan have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad.
in the paint. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And, oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Looking for a good shot. There's the fake. Double team now. Bad angle. Intercepted. Excellent spacing. That's so important with a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He shoots from downtown. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. On the inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For the bucket. And he scores despite the hack. Jumped in front to take it away. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. That's seven unanswered. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Michigan are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. There's the pick. From the top of the key. Way off target. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For two. Perfectly executed. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He intercepts it. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the elbow. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And the ball goes out of play. Now look at him celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders, that's awesome, Brad. He's got a high post flasher. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Ten on the shot clock. The Wolverines are ahead by 13. He puts up the three ball. That's good. Dump it inside. Gave it up. He shoots from right of the circle. The Wolverines have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. 
Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that I really is tough to deny up the ball. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? I'd celebrate too, Gordon. They're, they're playing some great basketball at the moment. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Picked off. Length of the floor. The Big Ten, are they still a powerhouse conference, Dick? Hey, definitely there's a lot of banging when a Big Ten school is playing. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. There he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. Time three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. On the outside, way out on top, controlling the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job! Footwork, really excellent on the post play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Dick and Brad, there was a question coming into tonight's matchup. Are the favorites worthy of their ranking? From their performance so far tonight, it looks as if the naysayers were right. He attempts the trifecta. This one's turning into a big blow, baby. On the low block on the move inside and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Got a man in high post. Tries for two. They still don't score. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Goes up for two. He seems to leave it alone if it's going down. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Gave it up. They'll work it around the perimeter. Let's it fly. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Got an open look if he wants it. Sets the screen for his teammate. He hits it. In the paint. Fakes the shot. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. And they get the turnover. Marries it home. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Gave it up. 
He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And the ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. Michigan are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented blocks up there. Yeah, that helps. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. For two, he puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. And a momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. The kick out. He launches the bomb. Gets it to go. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He hits the shot. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Finch makes. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Good timeout right here, though. Settle down, get that timeout. We're ready to get back to the action. Picks off the pass. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. There they come with a double team to stop it. The ball goes out of bounds. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Gave it up. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called Dick. I'll tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every play. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. Picks off the lazy pass.
on the dribble, gives it up. He tries the jumper. A lot of people can't hit that shot anymore, Dick. That 10-12 uh, foot shot. Yeah, the medium range shot is a, uh, an extension. The fans are patiently waiting for something exciting to happen. So far, the crowd has had nothing to cheer about. Stolen away. He pushes it up the floor, always looking. Gave it up. He tries the three. Timeout. Both teams will get a breather here. We'll get a chance to talk things over. Now to half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Steals a pass. Goes up for two. Up. Easy one. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Kicks it out. He rejects it. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on a box. He draws a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. High post flashes. He strokes it. He buries the shot. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Working around the arc. From three-point range. Drains the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice fake. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Nick, they're really going to have to regroup. This is a big shock, I'm sure, to their fans and the coaching staff. They got to find a way to come back because they weren't what they expected. I think the coach staff's got to get them back in a practice environment and get them to be intense. I didn't like the way the way acted at the shoot around. I thought they were too cocky then, and it reflected in the way they played. They were absolutely beaten today by a club that was ready to perform. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Indiana gets destroyed. I can honestly say.